Welcome to Red House Interior Design for another Render Settings video. Today we are working with this Scandinavian style open space uh, living. So let's start by uh, creating our base render. And one more copy of the same shot for our effects. Today I'm going to use one of the Lumion 9 presets called Interior and we'll need a couple of uh, more effects. Uh, in the Colors tab we'll use Analog Color tab or Lab. Then we'll need uh, from the Weather and Climate uh, Precipitation. From the Camera tab a Lens Flare. And our last effect will be volumetric sunlight. I'm going to disable it for uh, now so it doesn't obstruct our picture. So let's start with, um, let's go to uh, actually the, the, the third one, precipitation. I'm going to come back to the first two effects later on. So uh, I want to use uh, uh, snow outside, so I'm going to move the slider all the way out. And the precipitation phase move just a little bit up and I'm gonna keep the same uh, the rest of it uh, the same as it is because it will not be uh, too visible uh, from the windows so let's move on uh, to um, our next effect called analog color lab now we have a couple of styles in here as you can see they are changing and I'm going to use uh, the one it's the third one from the beginning and I'm going to bring the, uh, the amount down for now uh, we may come back uh, to it a little later on so uh, let's sharpen up the picture just a little bit increase the intensity and we are done in here exposure always as last uh, color correction now um, I have a lot of uh, cold materials in here as you can see uh, white uh, marble floor and uh, dark uh, semi-reflective uh, surfaces or walls so uh, the lights are all daylights so I don't want the scene to be uh, to be too warm actually I want it to be quite cold so I'm going to bring the temperature down quite a lot you can see it is already changing it is uh, losing colors and it is uh, going towards the blue spectrum the tint lower down as well just a little bit to put a little bit of vibrance to return the colors back in the scene uh, brightness a little bit of a, of a contrast and perhaps even a little bit of a saturation so we don't lose uh, the colors so we are done in here for now uh, moving on to our next effect reflections uh, we have a lot of reflective surfaces in here so I'm gonna start picking them one by one there is one in here at the back this window I'm going to, uh, this is also glass, this fireplace, so uh, there will be some reflections in there. I have to choose both sides. Now I know this, uh, this counter is also uh, very glossy, so I'm going to choose that one as well. Uh, there is a little coffee table in here with a glass uh, top. And so is this one. And not to forget the, the floor which is very glossy as well. You don't have to worry about the, the windows in here because they're gonna be uh, behind the curtains. So basically the reflections will be quite blurred. And uh, one more thing in here. You can see the, the television is, has got a glass and a glossy surface as well. So I'm gonna use that one too. So we have quite a lot of uh, reflective surfaces in here. Uh, turning on the speedway reflections, obviously, and we are done with this effect. Now hyperlight. We are working with the interior, so this is quite important. As you can see, it is already preset from uh, from the Lumion uh, interior preset uh, on this value. I'm going to bring it up just a little bit higher, somewhere around here, and uh, we are done. You cannot see uh, the the change in this effect. In your viewer you always have to do a, a test render to see uh, the results so you need to do a couple of test renders when you're working with these uh, 
with these effects, specifically hyperlight and skylight as well. So uh, I'm going to bring the brightness up and the saturation as well, just a little bit and turn on the, both of the reflections in here and the render quality normal so it doesn't take uh, too long. Next up, shadows. That is also quite important in here for, for the interior. Now the coloring, as you can see, it is all the way down. That means this would be a warm uh, shadow, but I want the shadows to be cold. So I'm going to bring it all the way up. Uh, the brightness up just a little bit. And the interior exterior as well. I'm going to move it to all the way to the exterior, even though we are working with the interior. But as I said, I want the shadows to be cold. So uh, I'm moving the, the slider towards the exterior. Omni shadows down just a little bit and uh, turning on the soft shadows uh, and fine detail shadows on as well. Done with the shadow, moving on to chromatic aberration. I always bring the dispersion down just a little bit because the way I like it. And the depth of field. Now I'm going to set the distance, uh, the autofocus distance, uh, just in here in the beginning of, uh, of the room. Confirm, turn it on. So now it is uh, sharpening uh, on this area or focusing on this area. And I'm going to blur just this portion, this uh, little coffee table. And the rest of it I want to, uh, to be sharp. So I'm going to bring the foreground and background uh, slider all the way towards the, uh, the background. Excuse me, all the way towards the foreground. And as you can see, I have this uh, coffee table out of focus, just a little bit of the sofa and from uh, here, here on then, all the way towards the end of the room is nice and sharp. So perhaps the amount just a little, a little less. So we can still see, uh, clearly see what it is, but it is out of, uh, out of focus. Okay, we're done in here. Uh, moving back to exposure. It looks like perhaps just a little bit higher little bit more light so we got some detail on the ceiling as well now there is a couple of effects we didn't work with yet and that is uh, lens flare so let's adjust that we have a couple of uh, spotlights in here and uh, bright sources uh, there is another light in here on top of the kitchen counter so we want uh, to create a little bit of a streak of light or, or halo around those uh, or lens flare from those lights. So I'm going to bring the master brightness up just a little bit and I'm going to isolate the bright pixels in here. As you can see, whatever is very, very bright in the scene is getting the, the flare straight away. So perhaps just a little bit of uh, brightness up, not too much, otherwise the sky will start popping up as well. So we are done in here and moving on to uh, volumetric sunlight. Now I'm going to turn it on. Now, as you can see, there is quite a lot of it and that is, uh, doesn't look very realistic. So uh, let's adjust that. I'm going to bring the brightness down. So right around here. And perhaps the range is to move it a little bit closer towards us. Right about there. Now, uh, with this effect, uh, the same thing, uh, you need to do a couple of test renders to see the exact uh, result because it will change slightly. In the viewer, it looks a little different than it does in, in the final render. So let's me, let me just double check. We have, we already worked with that one. Just the uh, analog uh, color lab. I think I'm gonna bring the amount now up. So it will get, yeah, you can see now it's losing. Uh, warm colors or remnants of uh, the warm colors and now it's getting the effect that I wanted a little bit washed out and I'm gonna add a couple of uh, a little bit of a saturation back in so we don't lose too much colors and the vibrance as well okay and that looks uh, just about right to me so let's have a look I'll find a render. And that is all for today, folks. Thanks for tuning in. 
see you next time.